during a press conference before last weekend's uh, festivities at Iowa Speedway, Martin Truex Jr. officially announced that he'll retire from full-time racing at the end of the 2024 season. I had nothing to do with it. When arriving at his decision, Truex said it was the right time for him to step away after thinking about retiring for the last few seasons, adding that he's been living his entire racing life uh, by a schedule that somebody makes for you. Uh, so he feels like he's ready to make his own schedule now. Team owner Joe Gibbs said he wanted Truex Jr. to return for another year because he'll still uh, be driving at the top of his game at 43 years old. At the moment, the current driver, the number 19, Joe Gibbs Racing Toyota, has 34 Cup Series wins, 23 poles, 146 top fives, and 287 top tens, plus back-to-back -back Xfinity titles in 2004 and 2005. Trick Jr. plans to be a JGR ambassador next season, and when asked about future racing plans, he mentioned uh, JGR's Xfinity team, hinting they could make several starts there in 2025. What a surprise. Uh, Denny Hamlin also said that he'll be willing to field an extra 23XI racing entry for his teammate if he's still interested in trying to win his first Daytona 500. Again, what a surprise. He retired about the very next race. How Philippe Nassau of him. Several drivers are also candidates to replace Truex Jr. in the number 19, but the leading candidate appears to be Chase Briscoe, the photo courtesy there of Joe Gibbs Racing. Drivers saying they're retiring, then they're back for the very next race. What a surprise. We keep hearing this again and again, don't we? So, Matt W, starting with you on this one as well. Oh, God, I've got both of you now. What are your thoughts on Martin Truex Jr. stepping away from full-time racing? And does he have the potential to go out on top by winning this championship? Yes, to use a, one of our favourite lines, it's Matt and Matt. Um, Truex back there. Yeah, well, this has been coming, hasn't it, for... I don't know that I get a chuckle out of Mr. Jones. Um, and this has been coming for a little while. Uh, can he put together a final championship push? Well, I, I mean, for all intents and purposes, most of last year, it looked like he was going to win the championship and it absolutely fell apart on him when we got to playoff time. Uh, he, he's not been, you would have to say so far through the, the balance of the season, obviously Danny Hamlin has been the best Gibbs car and he was probably in everybody's championship four pick pre-season. I'm not sure how many people would have had uh, MTJ in that championship for. But this leaves a big hole in the Gibbs future, doesn't it? Because then he's not got many years left as a full-time run. He'll go until he, he's told to stop, I would have thought. But uh, there's rumblings over drivers in other seats in that team that may or may not be there also. Uh, I'll leave that there uh, going forward. So <sighs> difficult. I mean... Take a couple of weeks ago at Sonoma when he he, he, he looked like he was going to get a good, good result and then didn't. It's been, it's been the story of the last little while for Martin. But then again, he'll probably show up at New Hampshire this weekend and absolutely stink up the show and lead all but about five laps and win by uh, win by ten seconds because that's the kind of thing he would do. So he's still definitely got it in his locker. Uh, whether he can go out swinging here in his final season is obviously yet to be seen. He gets the announcement off his back. Everyone stops asking him about it. All the pressure is gone from it. I think he is going to go out and win this weekend. He loves New Hampshire. It's one of his many home racetracks. Um, he's great at the place. He won there last year. He's won four straight stages and seven of the last 16 at the racetrack. So I do think he's going to come out and he's going to win at New Hampshire next week, uh, this week rather he's led triple digit laps at new hampshire six times and he's led 426 laps over the last two loud and races at 71 percent of the laps in the last two at new hampshire like matt said he loves to stink up a race and he might just do it this weekend um can he win the championship absolutely he can i wouldn't put him in my top five picks right now it, he doesn't have a win yet. And I hear, I hear a lot of people, well, you're going to have to win to win this championship. Well, Ryan Blaney only had one win in the regular season last year, and no one gave him a shot heading into the playoffs. And he became the hottest driver on the planet the last eight or nine weeks and won the title. Truex is one of those drivers that just get him into a groove, and he can take everyone behind the shed. I mean, it, it is just, it, it, he is 
one of those drivers that goes out and just dominates races. And once he gets in that groove, if he gets into that groove this year, he can rattle off three wins in five weeks, something like that. But yeah, this has been coming for a while. He's been talking about this. It feels like three or four years now. Um, he's always he, he was angry with the next gen car the first year of it. The famous uh, the famous shot of him giving the middle finger to his car. Where was that? Darlington, Bristol. I don't know. Um, it's just not gone great for him. It's been frustrating for him this year, even though he's been running well. And I think this comes at a good time for him to just get all of that off of him. And now the second half of the season to go out and try to get wins and go for this championship. 